and this is a C major 9 chord. You can hear already that's uh, got this more of a flair to it. Right? With this uh, major chord alone, we can start to come up with some ideas. For example, if I play this up on the 8th fret here on the A string, an F major 9. Just things like that, and then you can add more chords. So what I'm going to show you now is a bunch of chords that I consider are very useful for writing, you know, like uh, emo and math rock styles of music from. And you'll find all of these chords in a concise package over on my website, and you can find that link down below in the description. So I'm going to show you uh, two voicings for each, pretty much every chord, and they're going to either start from the low E string or the A string. And I'm going to be on the fifth fret for both of them with the root notes. Let's start with the major nine chords because they're my favorite. Uh, so this is a, a D major nine. But it's worth pointing out that you can move that around obviously. And then here is from the E string, uh, A major nine. Um, technically speaking, it's not fully a major chord because that one doesn't, this one doesn't have the uh, the third in there. But don't worry about it; it sounds great, right? And then we'll do the major seven variations. These sound a bit more jazzy to me, but I'll leave that up to you to see what you think. So from the A string on the fifth fret, and then from the fifth fret on the E string. So uh, to me it sounds a bit more jazzy, right? And then let's do the minor variations. So we'll start with minor 9 from the uh, A, from the 5th fret, sorry. And then from the low E on the 5th fret. That one sounds quite jazzy, right? It's a good practice to get your thumb over the top. And then the minor 7 variations, so from the A string, 5th fret. And then this one will be on the low E there. And then I've got one more chord for you, I do believe. And this is going to be uh, a minor 11 chord. And I'm just going to show you one variation of this because I like using this one. Uh, from the 5th fret on the E string. I love that chord. Uh, so what I'm going to show you now is just a bunch of examples using these chords just to hopefully give you some inspiration and to show you how you can actually go about uh, starting to use these chords to, to write songs. 